Grapes of Wrath not only made me want to write because it was so brilliant, but because it made me believe what John Steinbeck wanted me to believe in. And I was like 13 years old at the time, and that was quite a few years ago, and I haven't changed a bit. And I still read and reread that book every five years or so. Uh, it, it's an astonishing, great, great book. But it's not the book you reread the most. No. Uh, the, great, the, the book that I reread the most uh, is probably The Great Gatsby. Um, Fitzgerald is not my favorite author, but this book was so good. And the reason that I read it and reread it is that every time I go back to it, again, once every five years or so, I have changed and I start looking at it a different way. And I remember the last time that I read the book, this was about four years ago, uh, I looked at the, uh, the narrator, Nick Carraway, and I thought, what an impossible human being he is. God, I hate him. Something that I use whenever I teach a writing class. Four words. Shut up and write. Uh, I, I, th I think I talked about this to the audience tonight. If you talk about what you're writing, you leave it on the table when you're finished. It's, it's not like my writing is very, very personal. And by the way, I've never, I've never known a murderer. Well, I, I have, uh, but that was long after I didn't know her anymore. Uh, I think the last time I hit somebody in anger, I was 11 years old. I'm, I'm not a, I'm a very peaceful guy. I can get snarky, but I, I don't hit anybody. Um, but what I do is, what I write is very, very personal. Uh, and sometimes I'll write a book and I'll read, not the whole book, but you know, something in there. And I, that embarrasses me because it's, it's like getting naked in public. And I think a, a lot of, I think any good writer does that, but it's embarrassing. Words are so special. Words are so special. And to use the right word, uh, I, I have said this often. You're writing a book and you want somebody to throw something. And so you use, use the word throw. It's fine, it's absolutely okay word, but it doesn't do enough. If you ask me for my car keys, I'm going to toss them to you. Toss, it's throwing, but it's tossing, which is different. And if I'm really mad at you, I will hurl the car keys at you. And if I'm aiming for exactly where I want you to hit it, I am pitching. So. And that, that goes with every word there is. And, you know, when I, when I write my books and I go back and I say, what's a better word? What's a better word? Or sometimes I say, well, that's a perfectly good word. I, I leave it like that. Um, I remember reading a lot of the works of Pat Conroy, uh, Prince of Tides and Great Santini. And he made me crazy because every three pages I had to get up and go to the dictionary. And I, I have a pretty good vocabulary, but I think, what, what is he talking about? Where, where did he get that word? And it really impressed me. And it also impressed me not to do that all the time because I want you to read my books. I don't want you looking at the dictionary every three minutes. Uh, a lot of people ask me, do you play music when you're writing? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, I'm a huge jazz fan, but if I'm writing, and I'm playing jazz, then I'm going to say, oh, wait a minute, I'm going to stop writing and listen to that. Whereas if I'm playing classical, it's like background and it's very pleasant. But uh, yeah, I, I played professionally for 10 years in, in Los Angeles. Every sleazy bar in Los Angeles. I'm going to try to guess your favorite jazz pianist and you're going to tell me why I'm wrong. Okay. Bill Evans. You're absolutely right. You are absolutely 
right. Um, I love Oscar Peterson. I love George Shearing. I love Errol Garner. But sometimes when I listen to Bill Evans play, and I'll hear a chord, and I'll think, where did he get that chord? I thought I've played every chord in the world on the piano over you know, all these many. Where did he get that chord? It's, it, it amazes me. And uh, I, I think it's very, fad, uh, very sad. Uh, he was uh, a big heroin addict. Uh, and he died very, very young. And it breaks my heart because I, I, wish, he'd, I wish he'd done 50 more albums because uh, it's, it's a thoughtful way to play jazz, a thoughtful way. Do you know how Milan Yakovich dies? I don't know how Milan Yakovich dies because I, it never occurred to me that he was going to die. Uh, you know, after 30 years and, and 19 books about him, uh, the fact is that he has become one of my best friends, and I don't think about my best friend dying. So I, I have no idea how he's going to die, but I think he'll die peacefully. He is, unlike a lot of private eyes, he's not a violent man. I mean, he gets into it sometimes, but he is not really a, a violent person. I think he's, he's very peaceful and decent which is why I created him that way. I didn't want him to be uh, a Jack Reacher. I didn't want him to be the guy who, you know, kills first and asks questions later. I wish young people would start reading books more. I wish people would start paying attention to other people and not what's on the internet or not what, what, what's on their telephone or who texted them or anything like that. Uh, I think that one of the reasons that our country and the world, if you will, is so uncivil anymore is that people don't, they're so busy with their gadgets that they don't look at other people and say, what's with you? What's going on with you? Why, why are you looking that, like that? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you bothered? Are you upset? Are you frightened? What's, what's the deal with you? I think all us writers do that. And I think everybody should do that because, um, you know, there, there was a lady in here tonight and she was the aunt of one of my best friends in the world. He no longer lives in Cleveland. He lives in New Mexico and I miss, I miss him every day um, because when he does visit, and we'll go to a restaurant, we'll sit and we'll look at each other and we'll talk and we'll exchange ideas. It's, 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 not, it's not the kind of friendship of, hey, how about those browns? Uh, you know, it's, it's very philosophical, it's very personal, it's very enlightening for both of us. And I, I think people ought to do that more. It's kind of what I wish the world would be like again. Maybe, maybe it will be, maybe after things change in Washington. Maybe, maybe things will be better. I hope so. That's plastic. No.